My Siri was literally recording me talk that whole time. Uh uh, my FBI agent was some bull. It's Naya and welcome to or welcome back to my channel for today's video I'm going to be doing another rant because you guys really enjoyed my last one So like I was like why not do another one? So y'all know I gotta eat in every one of these I was gonna eat Chipotle, but your girl kind of broke so like Chipotle not really in the budget right now <laughs> Today we're gonna be eating McDonald's and all I have today is a McChicken It's snowing so hard in Michigan and it's kind of cold outside Like my car is off right now so I can film this video so like if that doesn't show like some type of like effort, then I don't know what does, honestly. So for today, I'm gonna be ranting about anxiety. So this one is a little bit more complex, so I am gonna tell the definition. So anxiety is the intense, excessive, persistent worry slash fear about everyday situations. And like signs of anxiety are like fast heart rate, rapid breathing, sweating, tiredness. Usually when people are in like stressful situations, they get really anxious, or some people just go about everyday life really anxious. It's kind of hesitant about making this video though because I don't really like to self-diagnose myself with things that have to do with like mental disorders twist my ankle the wrong way I'm automatically gonna say that I have a broken ankle but I feel like it's different like it's not on the same level of capacity I personally I've been in like depressive like states like I don't think I would be clinically diagnosed with depression you know cuz I'm not like sad all the time Like I go through like I feel like everybody has like depressive states I feel like mental disorders are like a touchy topic like everybody's too scared to say like the wrong thing Thing, but I'm gonna just say it <laughs> back to anxiety. Oh, oh okay. so back to anxiety. I've never been to the doctor for anxiety or anything. I don't plan on going to the doctor because I don't feel like mine is like really like severe. So basically, one night, like back when I was still in school. I was like planning out stuff like because I always you know me I always write in my planner like I'm always planning something Start like overthinking about something getting like really hot when I tell you I literally felt like I could not breathe like I was like hyperventilating and then I couldn't swallow literally kept like standing up and sitting back down and I remember I kept doing like this because like I felt like I couldn't feel anything for some reason I immediately thought about I don't know if you guys watched the Fosters but there was one episode Steph she was having a panic attack but she was with her mom remember her mom was telling her like it's like you have to like get in touch with your five senses to kind of like snap yourself out of it and those are like your sense of touch hearing sight taste and there's one more I can't think of the other one for some reason oh and smell I was literally in my room like okay I'm touching my bed that was like the first time that ever happened I was so scared there's a difference between like having like anxiety and just being anxious about something when I do my rant videos they're not really planned so I always have to like cut in and like finish my thoughts Basically, what I was saying was, is that there is a difference between, like, having anxiety rather than just, like, being anxious about something. If you're, like, constantly anxious just about life all the time, that's how you know you, like, have anxiety. I'm not, like, trying to self-diagnose myself or anything, but, like, I kind of figured it out. I just know I have, like, a little slight case of anxiety. It's just me. Like, I'm always anxious about everything. I'm done with my food, but I'm gonna continue. Do you guys do that? Like, when I'm taking a test, I will focus on literally, I like literally focus on somebody's like pencil lead, like writing across the, like the page. Like, rather than doing all those exercises though, I feel like I kinda know how to talk myself like out of it. Cause I know when I'm about to get anxious. My Siri was literally recording me talk that whole time. Uh uh, my FBI agent was some bull. Anyways, yeah, that's really all I have to say about anxiety right now. I don't know it just came to my mind so if you are feeling anxious all I have to say really is to focus on your senses like that literally will snap you right out of it and then that doesn't work in breathing exercises so like you can do like wax on wax off you can do like whoops or like if you know how like talk your stuff out of it. if you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want me to do more rant videos please comment down below what topic I should rant about I have tea time with Naya too so like for the rants I want you guys you guys to keep it more about like emotions but anyways yeah so that is all for this video I hope you guys enjoy if you did give it a like comment and subscribe help me hit 1500 before the end of November it's awesome doing vlogmas so that's another reason why you should go, go ahead and subscribe go follow my social medias at night and day on all platforms and if you have an instagram stop what you're doing right now go on instagram slide to the left take a picture or a boomerang of any point in this video post on your story hashtag naya nation and at me so i can see that's all i have to say today i'm a rapper bye yes sir i had to turn the heat back on
out.